they be able to pick a few out. They certainly do. The 74 car there, and that is Doug Thompson in the hold, and he's been running fairly quickly too. Rowan Peace in the 43, Jacko in the 20, Gary Smith in the 77, Stan Elliott in the 27, Dennis Hopwood the 35, John Evans in the 6, Carl Phillips, no relation to Wayne Phillips, Robert Perry in the 83, and that's the number five car of Tony Davis who brings up the rear. 10 to complete this field, 10 cars, 10 starters over the eight laps. And they'll be out to better that time of Billy Chapman's of 2.58. Jacko in the front, Steve Jackson, yep. Doug Thompson, Rowan Peace in the big 43, the big valiant. Stan Elliott back in the 27, he's been running fairly consistently as has John Edmonds in the six car. Coming around for a start now, the yellow lights are flashing, the green flag's out, and away they go, and Jack Owen Outlaw head away from the field, Rowan Peace trying to get up on the inside of Doug Thompson, which he does with consummate ease. Stan Elliott slips into fourth position, Doug Thompson now trying to get a trail on Rowan Peace, but this leaves Steve Jackson well out in front of this particular stage. John Evans coming through the field in a bit of a hurry, as is Tony Davis in the number five car. But coming around to complete lap one and Jacko has a bit of a swipe with a fence which allows Rowan Peace to get through. Doug Thompson still holding down third place but he's going to be challenged on the outside first by Stan Elliott and then the number six of John Edmonds. Tony Davis in the number five car has driven a pretty good race from the rear of the field to creep up now into fifth position and he's trying to make it position four on the inside of John Edmonds which he does with a good ease. But over the line goes Rowan Peace, Steve Jackson, Doug Thompson, and there was a warning there given to, I believe it was the number six car of John Edmonds, but we'll check that later, but it leaves Rowan Peace in the number 43 car, well out in front with five and a bit laps to go. Steve Jackson is in second place, and in third place is Doug Thompson, which he's held from the start. He's under threat now from Tony Davis. Tony Davis gets it a little bit sideways and can't get up on uh, Thompson's inside, but he'll have another crack at him, and he's, he's got four and a bit laps to go. Down the back they go now and Rowan Peace has opened up a good 30 or 40 metre gap over uh, Steve Jackson. Then Doug Thompson back to Tony Davis on his outside Stan Elliott coming up pretty quickly. And then back to the uh, 35 car and I'll pick him up in just a second. But over the line goes Rowan Peace followed by Steve Jackson. There's a good spin out there and there's trouble. Dennis Hopwood it was in the 35 car. He got sideways and still getting it sideways. Tony Davis, unfortunately, was shunted to the inside of the track and he won't be too happy with that. This narrows the field down a little bit and Rowan Peace is well out in front now with three laps to go. Steve Jackson has driven a pretty good race at this stage to hold down second from Doug Thompson, who's not making any ground on Steve Jackson. Stan Elliott now having a crack at Doug Thompson as Steve Jackson in the front gets a little bit sideways, allowing those two cars, Doug Thompson sideways now. That trek is very, very slippery over there, allowing Stan Elliott to jump up into third position. Rowan Peace over the line with two laps to go. Steve Jackson still getting it sideways. Stan Elliott up into second position now and Doug Thompson getting a caution there. Stan Elliott up into second, Steve Jackson Still getting it sideways, there must have been something going amiss with his car when he hit the wall here before, allowing Doug Thompson now to get up into third position. John Edmonds up on the outside of Jacko, uh, on the inside of Jacko to snatch fourth position. But one lap to go to Rowan Peace, then the 27 of Stan Elliott in second position from Doug Thompson, John Edmonds, Jacko having another dice with a the wall, then Robert Perry, then follows Gary Smith and bringing up the rear is Dennis Hobwood. But two bends to negotiate. Now one for Rowan Peace in the big value as he comes down to take the chequered flag. A well-deserved win to Rowan Peace in second position will be the 27 of Stanley. Steve Jackson having another crack at John Edmonds on the outside. Doug Thompson in third, John Edmonds fourth, and then Robert Perry. Then follows Gary Smith and Dennis Hopwood. And the man that caused a bit of strife on a couple of occasions, Steve Jackson, failed to complete at the time of 2.55. 0.034, so they're about three seconds quicker than uh, Billy Chapman's first heat. But a good win there to uh, Rowan Peace. Give him a big hand. Certainly, uh, I don't know whether there was a bit of team driving there for the Chrysler boys. Rowan Peace out in front and Jacko creating a fair bit of havoc in the background there, Lee. But uh, Rowan Peace drove a very, very good race indeed. Never was going to be headed, Michael. Certainly a very solid drive from him once he got in front. Give him a big round of applause. That was a pretty good drive, that. Once he saw daylight, of course, the others were always fighting to get into the clear to chase him, but Peace did very, very well there now. Event three on tonight's program is a slight change.